Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nico Ball, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about um, how I learn Portuguese and why I'm creating a BJJ library in Portuguese for you guys. So if you don't know, I learn Portuguese um, basically just by moving to Brazil. I got it in my head back in 2013 um, that I wanted to go pro in MMA. I was a white bro in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and I figured the best way to get better at Jiu-Jitsu would be to move to Brazil. Um, so I spoke Spanish before I moved down there, but before moving to Rio, I knew absolutely no Portuguese. Before I moved down there, I had tried to study a little bit by looking up maybe how to conjugate verbs, certain words, vocabulary words, like how to say hi, how to ask for food. Um, and I used to watch a lot of movies in Portuguese, like Elite Scott, Elite Squad, or City of God. City of God is kind of a hard one to understand because the accent is from the favela. But now on Netflix, there are a ton of shows for anybody that kind of wants to do that. Um, so I moved down to Brazil without really speaking anything, and I took no Portuguese classes. My method for learning was just to train jiu-jitsu. I trained jiu-jitsu two or three times a day, and luckily the first place that I went, um, the technique that they did in the evening and um, at night, no, sorry, the technique that they did in the morning and in the evening was the same, so it was basically like the same vocabulary that people were going over, and there was a lot of repetition. So I just kind of tried to understand everything that was going on in jujitsu class, and I would pick up on words based off of what they were saying. Like if you had to hold the pants, they were obviously going and grabbing the pants. So that let me know that whatever they were saying had to be some kind of version of that. And I would just try to pick up on what the words were and look them up or figure them out based on jujitsu. So using that method, it took me about three months to become fluent in Portuguese. People ask me all the time if I teach Portuguese or ask for methods on learning Portuguese. I know a lot of people that do dual lingual and I always tell them that one of the best things that they can do is to go out and try to find jujitsu techniques in Portuguese on YouTube or something that directly relates to why they're trying to learn Portuguese. Because generally if you're training jujitsu, you're hearing Portuguese um, at the gym because you train with a Brazilian or at a competition. So the easiest way to become efficient in the language is to try to learn language that's directly related to those things. That's why I've been working on creating a BJJ Technique library in Portuguese because I've discovered on YouTube a lot of the audio to the techniques from Brazil aren't actually good and they can be hard to understand. So the library has the techniques. It has them subtitled all in Portuguese. Um, there is no English, so the goal is to learn the vocabulary in Portuguese so that you can understand the Portuguese subtitles, and then you can download the vocabulary. So if you don't understand them, you don't have to look everything up. Every technique has a vocabulary list. So we're going to take a look at a video from Ted Day Kids Project. It was by one of my first teachers, Fabricio, and... Um, it was filmed with a cell phone, so again, it's kind of just like a normal experience that you're going to get, and we're using relatively simple vocabulary in this technique. So take a minute to check out this technique. A mão que está segurando o pulso do Henrique vai para a calça. Fujo o meu quadril de lado, entra o meu joelho. Agora, ó, a perna que está laçada, o braço que está laçado, é a perna que eu vou derrubar ele. Ó. Puxo minha perna para trás e ganho 100 quilos. Os. Os. So when you're trying to study jujitsu techniques, um, there's some important things to keep in mind. Like first, it's good to have a prior knowledge of what kind of vocabulary you're gonna hear. In jujitsu, the basic vocabulary is going to be verbs, 
and there's some very specific verbs. I have a vocabulary list that hopefully you've downloaded and if you looked over, things like, you know, grab the lapel, lower the leg, um, kick. There's a lot of words that are very just common to jujitsu. Some of the first ones that I try to teach people are to grab and let go because when you're in a pool guard, the first thing you need to do is to get your grips. So you have your verbs and then you have things like your body parts or your parts of the gi. The basic techniques are all gonna build off of that because then you get into explanations. Like if the opponent does this, then you're gonna do that. That's kind of a higher level. But at level one, introduction to Portuguese, you should be able to understand verbs that are conjugated in like commands, like grab the lapel, and verbs that are conjugated in the present simple, which is, for example, saying I grab the lapel, or I lower his leg, or I put my hand on the ground. So basically, on level one, I try to explain to people, you know, things that are conjugated in the present simple for I, they're going to end in O. For example, Fabricio is using the present simple in this video, so he's saying things like, yo estico a perna, yo pucho. All of those are conjugated in the present simple. And if you know that, then you can kind of recognize the verb. If it was a command, commands normally end in A or E, so instead of pucho, it would be Pusha. So even though you don't understand the verb, if you can pick up on small grammar, things like that, you can kind of understand maybe what is going on. And if you can break down like the base of the verb, then that's how you can go and throw it in Google Translate, which is something that we get onto like later on when we're studying. So for those of you that are trying to learn Portuguese, I highly recommend that you go through techniques and you don't need to go through a lot of techniques. Repetition of one technique and being able to understand and then repeat and actually say just a certain command, like I put my hand on the ground, bota a mão no chão, that is really important. So just by going over and over and over one part of a technique or one technique, you can really train your ear to understand more things. So I hope you enjoy this video and keep on watching it until you can actually try to describe some of the things that he's saying in this video yourself.